In its seventh year of consecutive rise, world military spending reached an all-time high of $2.1 trillion, according to Cipri's report that came out on April 25th. The global military burden, that is, world military expenditure as a proportion of global GDP, fell by 0.1% from 2.3% in 2020 to 2.2% in 2021. However, this was due to the economic rebound after the pandemic. Even amid the economic fallout of the COVID-19 pandemic, world military spending hit record levels. Said Dr. Diego Lopez da Silva, senior researcher with CIPRI's Military Expenditure and Arms Production Program. With $801 billion in military spending in 2021, the U.S. outspent the next nine countries in the list combined. Following the U.S. was China at $293 billion, India at $76.6 billion, the United Kingdom at $68.4 billion, Russia at $65.9 billion, France at $56.6 billion, Germany at $56 billion, Saudi Arabia at $55.6 billion, Japan at $54.1 billion, and South Korea at $50.2 billion. In 2021, U.S. military spending was $801 billion. According to a report, By In These Times, the total amount of money that the U.S. spent on vaccine contributions around the world was around $7 billion. The report also pointed out that since the beginning of the pandemic, the U.S. has spent 7.5 times more money on nuclear weapons than on global vaccine donations. Lindsay Koshgarian, director of the National Priorities Project at the Institute for Policy Studies in Washington, D.C., recently stated that despite spending 12 times as much on our military as Russia, we were unable to prevent a European war. It simply depleted our domestic resources. We're not sure the people want the continuation of this war in Ukraine. Um, the United States government has uh, now announced that they will increase their weapons delivery to the Ukrainians from about roughly $3 billion. Hard to tell what the initial number was to $33 billion. $33 billion. That's a lot of money, my friends. $33 billion. That's about just $10 billion less than the U.S. government uh, is planning to spend on the so-called green transition. Um, just about $10 billion less than that. $33 billion, um, not likely that this $33 billion amount is going to be spent merely on defensive material. You see, one of the uh, issues in the war between Russia and Ukraine is that the United States is not a party to that war. NATO is not a party to the war. Uh, none of the neighboring countries of Ukraine uh, are saying they are party to the war. This is really important because if a NATO country gets involved in the war, then NATO countries, uh, by their charter, are compelled in a way to enter that war. Then it becomes an, a European war. This is, you know, Europe's third world war and so on. There are seven U.S. allies or NATO members in the top 10 countries with the highest military expenditure. Four out of the top 10 military spenders are NATO members, U.S., U.K., France and Germany. They collectively spent nearly half of the total global expenditure in 2021, or a total of 982 billion U.S. dollars. Russia spent around over $66 billion on its defense in 2021, which is around 4.1% of its GDP. This was 2.9% higher than the previous year. China spent $293 billion for defense in 2021 and recorded a 4.7% increase in comparison to 2020. India spent $76.6 billion, the third largest spender in the world. Its defense expenditure was almost 1% higher than the previous year. Among other developing countries, Nigeria recorded one of the highest year-on-year increases in its military budget. It recorded an increase of 56% in comparison to 2020 with its total defense expenditure reaching $4.5 billion.